The days of Smash 64 and Melee were a simpler time, and there weren't that many character gimmicks, and those that existed were basically useless against top tiers, except for maybe Rest. Most characters played off of raw fundamentals, and they didn't change or evolve as the game progressed. Then came Brawl, bringing with it a slew of more diversified characters, some of whom possess new abilities that we have never seen before. Characters like Lucario with his aura ability were only the gateway for more unique attributes, as Smash 4 took this idea and ran with it. Finally, Smash Ultimate brought back every fighter in Smash history and also added plenty of new fighters, or Fire Emblem characters, and some of them with game-changing meters and unblockable moves. For our question of the day, what's your favorite ability in Smash? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned to find out if your favorite pick is our pick for the best ability. Are you looking to learn more about Smash and improve your gameplay? Well then look no further than ProGuides.com. Our website is full of competitive gaming resources, from our tier list featuring guides on every character, to our pro counters taught by pro players like MKLeo and Sam. You can even take advantage of our Play With Pros platform and get yourself a pro coach right now. Also, tune in right here to catch live sessions on our YouTube channel Monday through Friday at 12 o'clock p.m. Pacific. Super Smash Bros. Brawl edition of Lucario introduced the very first instance of a character with a special ability unrelated to his moveset. Lucario's aura mechanic is an ability tied to his damage percent which makes him stronger as his damage increases. This buff applies to Lucario's damage output, knockback, and even the size of his hitboxes, making him practically a different character when fully realized. With Aura, Lucario possesses immense KO power with uncharged smash attacks killing early as 40%. Because he's rewarded for taking damage, characters who can kill at earlier percents tend to do well against Lucario. The Aura mechanic may have been partial inspiration for Smash 4 and Ultimate's Rage mechanic, which similarly has increased the character's strengths with their percentages. Rage, however, does not affect the damage output or hitbox size. Unlike many other abilities on this list, Lucario's aura doesn't have a displayed meter, but his damage percent will give you an idea of how much aura that he's accrued from 65 to 190% in Ultimate. In addition to giving every character a version of aura through Rage, Smash 4 also introduced many characters with meters, buffs, and special abilities. We Fit Trainer was amongst one of the first newcomers announced with one of these mechanics. Her deep breathing is activated by playing what basically is a rhythm minigame with her down special. Once successfully activated, deep breathing temporarily powers up Wii Fit and heals her for a whopping 2% of damage. In Smash 4, this ability granted Wii Fit greater damage output on her entire moveset and reduced the damage she takes when hit. It also buffed her… uh… walk speed? In Ultimate, deep breathing benefits go much further, adding increased run speed, air speed, and fall speed to the Smash 4 buffs. This makes Wii Fit a very terrifying character with deep breathing activated, allowing her to build up damage very quickly and secure stocks. Little Mac marks the first inclusion of a meter with his KO Punch. Unlike Aura and Deep Breathing, KO Punch isn't a set of stat buffs, it's just one attack. But the way that he acquires it fits in with these other attributes. Little Mac's neutral special Straight Lunge will be replaced with KO Punch when his power is full. Similar to Aura, the power meter builds up when Little Mac takes damage, but it also builds up in smaller increments when he deals damage. When used on the ground, the KO Punch is an incredibly powerful attack that kills around 30% and can't be shielded. Mac can also set up for a KO Punch with his down tilt, even though this setup is more reliable in Smash 4. Sadly, for Mac players, he'll lose that KO Punch if he's simply hit into tumble after 4 seconds of acquiring it. Even so, KO Punch is a pretty scary comeback mechanic that will force the opponent to play very carefully around the Mac and it's sometimes his only way to clutch out victories as such a weak character in Smash Ultimate's meta. Even today, Robin stands out as one of the most unique Fire Emblem characters featured in Smash. He has far more projectile attacks than any other FE reps, but he also has a special limit. No cloud, not that kind of limit. On how much uses that he has on each move. Robin's normal attacks all make use of a sword, but which sword Robin uses is based off a of few factors. Robin will use his stronger Levin sword once Levin sword meter has filled up and while he is holding it. Holding the Levin Sword will also require a smash input of the left stick. When the Levin Sword meter is depleted, or when Robin uses a tilt input on the left stick, he will also switch to the weaker Bronze Sword for his normals. As for Robin's special moves, he has a number of uses, again marked by the meter that depletes, eventually rendering the corresponding special moves useless until the meter refills over time. This mechanic forces Robin players to be very calculated in their choice of attacks, saving the right move for the right moment. Robin players will sometimes even intentionally waste the last few uses of a move so it will replenish for a time that they need it the most. Shulk has some of the most variety when it comes to attribute changes. His DHOB allows Shulk to swap between Monado arts, which is easily changed for stats that are better or worse. His speed art increases his ground and air speed dramatically while lowering his damage output and jump height. Jump art increases Shulk's jump height, air speed, fall speed, and up B height, 
while also increasing the amount of damage that he takes. Buster Art increases his damage output while also increasing the amount that he takes and reducing the knockback of his attacks. Shield Art, on the other hand, significantly reduces the knockback and damage Shulk takes, but also slows down his movement and decreases his damage output. Finally, Smash Art dramatically increases the knockback of Shulk's attack, while reducing their damage output and increasing the knockback that he receives. Proper use of the Monado Arts makes Shulk a very difficult character to play competitively, but also allows him to adapt to many, many situations. Coupled with his large range and disjoints, the severe effects of Monado Arts lead many players to consider Shulk a potentially top tier character despite the lack of results. In Smash 4, Cloud's Limit became the most infamous ability thus far. Cloud's Limit Meter can be filled up manually by using his down special or automatically when Cloud gives or receives damage. When full, Cloud enters his Limit Break mode, where his ground speed, air speed, and fall speed are buffed. Additionally, all of Cloud's special moves are overhauled. His neutral special, Blade Beam, travels faster and activates a multi-hit explosion when connecting with the character or on the stage, which has a very strong knockback. Cloud's side special, Cross Slash, will automatically swing all 5 slashes and kill some characters as low as 70%. And his up special, Climb Hazard, has a stronger hitbox and climbs to much greater heights, greatly improving Cloud's recovery. Lastly, his Limit Charge Down special is replaced with Finishing Touch, a slow attack with a hitbox that deals minimal damage but has very, very strong knockback. Cloud will lose his Limit Break status and completely deplete the Limit Meter after using any of these moves. In Smash 4, however, he would otherwise maintain the state until KO'd, but in Smash Ultimate, Cloud loses Limit Break after 15 seconds if he does not use a special move. In addition to the obvious benefits of the stat buffs, Limit Break will also make Cloud a scarier character to deal with, especially with percents where his Limit Breaks will kill. Most notably in Smash 4, the Limit Charge will also force opponents to approach in order to avoid giving Cloud Limit Break for free. Joker stole everyone's heart as the first DLC character in Smash Ultimate. This slick Phantom Thief didn't come alone, however. Joker features a meter very similar to Cloud's Limit Gauge, also known as the Rebellion Gauge. The Rebellion Gauge filled up very slowly over time and much more quickly if Joker is hit. This follows the same trend as Aura, Kale Punch, and Limit, which all rewards the character for being hit. Rewarding losing doesn't sound like the best mechanic for a competitive game, but... Joker can also fill his gauge by tanking his with his down special, Rebel's Guard. Once the meter is filled, Joker will also summon his persona, Arsene, to come and eliminate the hopes and dreams of his opponents. With Arsene, all of Joker's normal attacks deal additional damage and knockback and have a larger hitbox too. Like Cloud, his special moves are also overhauled, replace the stronger versions of his neutral and side specials, a different up special that travels further with intangibility frames, and a new down special that's basically just a bonkers broken counter. Unlike Cloud's Limit, Arsene lasts for about 30 seconds and doesn't even disappear when special moves are used. Sorry Cloud. Arsene does, however, deplete faster when Joker takes damage. Wait, is that actually a mechanic in Smash that punishes losing and rewards winning? The next DLC character in Smash Ultimate was Hero, a character who raised tons of controversy over just how many different things that he could do, and well RNG. Hero's down special command selection brings up a list of 4 randomly chosen moves from a total of 21. Many of these moves offer stat and attribute buffs to Harrow. Psych Up and Oomph will increase his damage and or knockback. Accelerado cranks up his movement speed to be the fastest air and ground speed in the game. Kaklang turns him into a metal statue where he's invincible for a short time but cannot move. And Balance envelops Harrow in an active reflector that bounces back any projectile for a short time without hindering Harrow's movements. The effect of Hocus Pocus are even wilder and even more random. Hocus Pocus has a chance of making Hero completely invincible with the effect of a Starman item, Giant or Mini with the Mushroom effect, and he can even be invisible or Witch Time. Just leave it by saying that Hero's down special perhaps has the craziest abilities and effects in the game. Last but not least, the good old Terry Bogard and his GO mechanic. <laughs> Once Terry hits 100%, he gains access to two super specials until he's KO'd. Maybe that is another mechanic that is rewarded for losing. <clears throat> Terry's super specials are Bust the Wolf! Uh, and, and with that, he lunges towards his opponent with an attack that deals tons of damage and kills very early. And Power Geyser! <laughs> Which shoots a giant blast of energy from the ground, reaching it high enough to hit the top platform of Battlefield. It's also super strong and KOs around 100%. Due to the range and power of both of these, plus Terry's ability to combo into them, opponents must be extremely wary around Terry when he has access to them. Alright, so what is the best special ability in Ultimate? Will the ARMS character have something even more special? We hope not, but right now it's gotta be Arsene. This verdict might even be a little bit different if the ability could be used by any character, but tied to our existing fighters, Arsene is our pick. 
Joker is already such a versatile character on his own, and he's only missing the powerful KO options and greater damage output. Arsene compensates for these weaknesses and then some, resulting in a special ability that makes Joker Claire best character in the game with Arsene active. Was Arsene your pick too, or do you prefer another ability? Make sure that you let us know in the comments down below and subscribe to Pro Guides and turn on notifications so you never miss a thing.